Good night. Hello, good, good evening. Hello. Hello, Jaime. Hello, Maria Dolores. Samuel. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Hello, Samuel, Francisco, Hugo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Flor de Maria. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. And yeah. you? Excellent. Thanks for asking me. Thank you so much. How was your day today? How was your day? Good. It was good. Good, teacher. Yes. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Then three. So, are you happy because tomorrow is a independence celebration in El Salvador and we are going to have a day off? Right? Vamos a descansar mañana. Y parece que el viernes también, ¿verdad? Bueno, por lo menos en nuestro trabajo. That's great, man. That's great. En cuanto a la clase del día viernes, comentarles que todavía no nos han dado un comunicado oficial de parte de la gerencia, ¿verdad? De inglés corporativo. Entonces vamos a seguir esperando que nos notifiquen en el grupo, ¿de acuerdo? Para la clase del día viernes. Mañana sí ya estaba seguro que íbamos a descansar, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Ok, entonces vamos a seguir esperando. Okay. Si en el transcurso de la hora no hay un comunicado oficial, este, esperemos que durante la mañana ¿verdad? escriban al grupo. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, I'm happy to see you tonight. Uh, thank you for your punctuality. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So yesterday we were studying preposition of place. Do you remember some of them? Let's see, for example... Let's see, I have a message here in the chat. No. I'm going to close this. Okay, preposition of place. Do you remember some of them? Let's see, for example, if I want to say el banco está a la par del restaurante. How do you say that sentence? Next to. Okay, we need the preposition. Next to the restaurant. Next to the restaurant. Next to the restaurant. Okay. Can you help me say in the complete sentence? What is the complete sentence? El banco está a la par del restaurant. The bank. Okay, you say the bank. It is or it follow is. 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 Next to. Next to. Next to. The restaurant. Next to the restaurant. Thank you so much. Yes, the van is next to the restaurant. Very good. Now I want to say the, the eh, la tienda de departamentos está en la esquina de la primera calle y la quinta avenida. How do you say that? La tienda de departamentos está en la esquina de la primera calle y la segunda avenida. The store. Hello, teacher. Hello, the Ok, you say the department. A department store. Store is en la esquina de. How do you say that? Is corner. No. The corner. On the corner. On, on, on the corner. On the, on the corner, corner of First Street, la primera calle, and Fifth Avenue. Second Avenue. Fifth, Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Uh, Thank you so much. Okay. The department store is on the corner of First Street and Fifth Avenue. Thank you so much. Si yo quiero decir, el parque está en medio de la oficina postal y la estación de policías. What is that preposition en medio de? Between. 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 Can you help me to make a complete sentence? The park is. Think as a moment you say the park is. Between of 
between, the park is between the post. Between. La oficina postal, the post office. The post office. And. And. Station police. Okay. Close, close. You are close. So it's police. Station. station. Police station. Thank you so much. ¿De cuáles otras preposiciones se recuerden? We have here next to, eh, on the corner of, eh, post office. On. Across from. On, across from. Between. Between. Across, across from. Between. In front of. Between. In front of. Between. On. Okay. On, yes. Did we behind. study the next preposition? Do you remember this one? Behind. Atras. Behind. Atras. Okay, we didn't study this uh, preposition yesterday, but behind means atras there. Atras there. That is the meaning of this word, behind. So now that we have remembered this, um, let's start with tonight's topic. In tonight's topic, we are going to learn how to give direction. So let's go with that. Okay, I'm gonna show you the presentation for tonight. So let me know, please, if you can already see it. Teacher. Yes. One question. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, in front of is equal across from. Oh, no, no, really. In front of is in el, la misma cuadra, ¿verdad? Están enfrente los dos edificios. Eh, y en la cross front hay una calle que divida los edificios. That is the difference. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. En, en front of no existe división. No existe división. Entonces, okay. in front of. En la cross front hay una calle. ¿verdad? Hay que cruzarse la calle para llegar al otro lugar. Y está justo enfrente, a cross front. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. So welcome to the class number seven. And let's start with this, giving direction. Uh, this is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give direction. So we are going to learn how to ask for di direction and give directions. Uh, dar direcciones y pedir direcciones. So let's go with this topic. So look at this map. Which places can you identify in this map? Can you read some of them, please? So which, City which one? Park. City Park, thank you. Which other place can you see in the map? Country Park House. Club. The, okay, what's another one? Bank, library. Bank, library. Drugstore, fire station, coffee house. Bar barber shop. Okay, barber shop. Which other one? Bakery. bakery. Center. Oh, bakery. Daycare oh. Center. Which other one? Beauty Shop, Beauty oh. Shop, Daycare Center. Fire Station. Fire Station. House. Core House. Police Station. Police Station, thank you. Video Store. Okay. Yeah, clinic. Clinic. City High School. The City High School. City Elementary. Uh, City Middle High School. Okay, thank you. City Middle High School. And City, City Elementary House School. The hospital, hospital. The hospital too. Okay, there are a lot of places here. Right? We have the parking lot, video store, McDubbs, courthouse, the police station, barber shop, beauty shop, daycare center, City Park, City Middle School, City Elementary School, City High School. Bank, library, grocery store. 
fire station, drugstore, coffee house, and bakery, city clinic, and let's see, barber shop, beauty shop, and daycare center. So now we are going to read this information and we are going to look for the place. We are going to try to find the place that they are talking about in this small conversation. So let us start with this. Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the yes? Yes, there is. Now read this direction. It is on Shore Avenue. It's on Shore Avenue, across from the library, between the fire station and the bakery. Can you find what is the right place? Can you find the correct place? Drugstore. Drugstore. Okay. Yes, the drugstore. Drugstore, yes. Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is on Shore Avenue across from the library, between the fire station and the bakery. I need two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try it? Thank you so much, Francisco. I need another volunteer tonight. Who wants to help me? I have Francisco and any other volunteer? Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much. So let's listen, Francisco and Leslie. Okay. Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where? The drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is a short avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Now let's listen Hugo and Maria Dolores, right? Hey, excuse me. I need to buy some medicine. You can tell me where the Drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is, is on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Thank, Thank you, you so excellent. Much. Thank you so much. That was great. So, bakery, the last word, bakery. The rest, excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next exercise. We're going to uh, ask. Do you have a question, Maria Dolores or Damaris? Questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. No question. Okay. Damaris is going to practice in the next. Let's go with the next exercise. So look at this. Can you please help me? I am looking for that. Do you know where it is? Oh, why not? Sure, there is. On back street, just south of elementary and middle school. What is the place? Can you help me, please? I am looking for the. Do you know what it is? Why not? Sure. That is on back street, just south of the elementary and middle school. Which is the place this person is looking for? ¿Qué lugar está buscando? City High School. City High School. Okay, the right answer is City High School. Very good. So here is the South, right? Thank you. Damaris and another volunteer. I have Damaris, Julio Cesar. Thank you so much. Damaris, you are A, Julio Cesar, you are B. Can you please start practicing this small okay. conversation? Can you please help me? I am looking for the city high school. Do you know where is it? Why no? Sure. The city high school is on the back street, just so of the elementary and middle school. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very, very good job. Uh, Hugo, I have Hugo, another volunteer to practice in this conversation. Okay. <clears throat> uh, can you please help me? Uh, I am uh, looking for 
the city high school. Do you know where the it's it uh, it is? Jonathan. Jonathan, can you help me with the part B, please? We're not sure the city high school is on Bag Street. Use you saw of the elementary and military school. Okay, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. So a middle school. Middle schools. Thank you. Let's go with the next. Let's try to find a place in this. Can you help me? I am looking for the sure you can find the on back street between the barber shop and the daycare center. What is the place? Beauty shop. No, beauty shop. Beauty shop. <laughs> okay, let's guess you're right. It's the beauty shop. Okay, excellent. The beauty shop. Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on back street between the barber shop and the daycare center. Okay, who wants to practice in this conversation? I need two volunteers. I have Maria, Dolores, and Ivan. Thank you so much. Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Back Street between the barber shop and the daycare center. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Um, I have Hugo and Francisco. And you can, I am looking for the beautiful shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Back Street between the barber shop and the daycare center. Perfect, thank you for your help. Thank you. I have Carmen too. Any volunteer to practice with Carmen? I Carmen. To Any volunteer to practice with Carmen? Your teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jose Alberto, right? Carmen, can you please start? Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Bath Street between the barber shop and the day car center. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the? That is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Oh, what is the place? Barbershop. Barbershop. Yeah. No. Uh, but it is, it is near. Station. It's near to the barbershop. The police station. Can you please station. help me? My car is missing. My car está perdido. Where is the police station? The police station is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back en el, Street. En la esquina sureste. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Este, eh, hemos visto varias formas como se, se refieren a, como a decir, puedes ayudarme, porque al principio decía uno, can you please help me, ¿verdad? Luego decía, can you help me? Y ahorita dice, call you please help me. Uh, okay, I... very good observation. Thank you. Yes, there are different ways to ask for help. And we're going to have, um, let's see, we're going to see then later, but I can explain you something, right? When you use could, is a little bit more polite. It's más educado. These are could. Cuando decimos can, sería un poquito rudo con las personas que ya conocemos, but could you please help me? Es mucho más formal. Utilizar could is más formal que can. That's Sería como un podrías o como. Uh -huh. Podría, por favor, ayudarme. Y la otra es, ¿puedes ayudarme? And that's the difference. Es solo la man... eh, Es decir, si para ser más educado, utilizamos could. Could you please help me? 
Thank you for your question. Any other question in this part? No question, then I need two volunteers. I have Maria Dolores and Jose Alberto. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, cool. You please, you please help me. My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect job. Let's go with Hugo, Giovanni, and any other volunteer to practice? Go to chair. Okay, thank you, Ivan. Hugo, Giovanni, and Ivan. Do it, please. Q, uh, can you, uh, Q, you please help me. My car is a missing, a missing. Where is the police station? Okay, okay, Hugo. The police station is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Excellent, thank, thank you so much. You. So, could is the pronunciation, could. En esta palabra, la L es silenciada, ¿verdad? No se pronuncia, so you say, could you please help me? Could you please help me? My car is missing. The next exercise. Hi, I have about cold. Could you please tell me where the is? Sorry to hear about that. You will find the on the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. What is the place this person is looking for? City clinic, bakery, grocery store, or city park? City planning. City planning. City planning. Okay. City the cleaning. City, the city cleaning. Yes, you're right. Perfect. Do you volunteer to practice in this conversation? Who wants to try it? I have Samuel and Ivan. Thank you. Yo? Yes, please. Again? Hi. I heard about cool. Could you please me? Could you please tell me where the clinic, city clinic is? Um, and sorry to hear about that you will find the city clinic on Norwest corner of Border Avenue and um, Front Street. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Just this word, find. You will find the city clinic. You will find the city clinic on the Northwest corner. Thank you. I have Francisco and Hugo too. Hey, hi, I have about the Q, Q, uh, you please tell me where the city clinic is. Sorry to hear about that. You will find the city clinic on the Northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. Excellent, thank you so much. Hi, I have a bad cold. I have a bad cold. That is the pronunciation okay, of this. Thank you. Let's go to the next. Let's see if there is another one. Yes, it is another one. Uh, hello, could you tell me where the is? Yes, it's across from the city park and next to the city clinic. What is the place? The bakery. Bakery. Oh, the bakery. 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 The bakery. He's looking for a semita pacha, right? So he's looking for the bakery. Do you like semita? Yes. 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 Yes, I do. With, yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. With, it's delicious. With, so, with soda or with coffee? With coffee. With coffee. coffee. Oh, with coffee. Okay. Uh, with you chocolate like, butt. Coffee. Okay. And do you like the chuponation? No, I don't like it. You don't like. Um, I don't know, but the sweet bread is delicious, right? Cuando lo meten el café, when you put it in, uh, in the coffee. So let's yes. see. Uh, did you say the bakery, right? Yes, you're right, the bakery. Hello, could you tell me where the bakery is? Yes, the bakery is across from the city park and next to the city clinic. Uh, any volunteer to practice in this small conversation? 
I have Carmen and Hugo. Do you want? Yes. Okay. Hello. Could you tell me where is the bakery is? Yes, the bakery is across from the city park and next to the city clinic. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any other volunteer? Yes, I have Jonathan. Jonathan and any other? Jonathan in Flor de Maria. Thank you. Hello. Could you tell me where the bakery is? Your microphone, Flor, your microphone. Hola, se escucha. Hola. Oh, yes. Hoy oh, sí. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, the bakery is across from City Park and next to this, the city clinic. Perfect. Thank you. And let's go to the next. Okay, giving directions, giving direction in English. So take a look at this expression. Hello, can you help me please? Good morning, may I ask you for some help? Excuse me, could you help me? So, eh, utilizamos estas frases para llamar la atención de una persona a la que le queremos pedir ayuda, ¿verdad? So you say, hello, can you help me please? Eh, hola, ¿puedes ayudarme, por favor? Oh, good morning, may I ask you for some help? ¿Podría pedirle un poco de ayuda? Excuse me, could you help? Disculpe, ¿podría ayudarme? So, para llamar la atención, ¿verdad? Para introducirnos a una conversación o para pedir ayuda a una persona que no conocemos. Utilizamos estas expresiones. Good morning. ¿Cuáles son los otros saludos? Good morning. Good night. Good night. Good, good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And good evening. Excellent. Good okay. morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And also good night. Depende de la hora que sea. A ver si vamos a utilizar ese saludo. Let's see. The question. Después que ya hemos llamado la atención de esa persona utilizando las frases de arriba. Hello, can you help me please? How do I get to? ¿Cómo llego a ese lugar? How do I get to? También puede utilizar la expresión How can I get to? Hay diferentes maneras de pedir direcciones. Como ya lo había notado antes, ¿verdad? Eh, Jonathan creo que me dijo eso, right? So, could you tell me how to get to the bank? ¿Podría decirme cómo llegar al banco? Could you tell me how to get to the bank? Do you know? It's the other question. Do you know where the museum is? Do you know where the museum is? ¿Conoces dónde está el museo? We can find the subway station. Is it near here? No podemos encontrar eh, la estación, ¿verdad? Del, sub, del tren subterráneo. ¿Es cerca de aquí? Where can we find a park near here? ¿Dónde podemos encontrar un parque cerca de aquí? So you can use these questions, right? But the most common are this one. How do I get to and how can I get to? But you can use it wherever this one. Cualquiera de estas. Any question in this part? Do you have any question? Okay, let's, yes. En, en eso de how do I get to, es válido también decir how do I arrive to. Um, let's see. The expression is get to. The meaning of get to is arrive. So how do I get to? It's the expression. It's an expression. It's an expression to ask for direction. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Teacher, have a question. Yes, yes I have a question, teacher. Eh, sobre la pronunciación de how do you get, uh, get to? Eh, ¿Así está bien get to o there? O como, a veces la, la T comienza como, como eres, ¿eh? 
No sé si se puede decir así. No sé. How do I get to? It's better to say, how do I get to? How do ah, I get bien. to? Sí, how can pronuncio. I get to? Solo así se puede pronunciar o, o se puede pronunciar de otra manera. Okay, probably if, if it is a native speaking, a, a native speaker in this person is speaking so fast, probably are going to use ghetto. How do I get it? I get it. Uh -huh. Okay. Es la manera informal, ¿verdad? Si yo digo I get it. How do you get it? Yes. Mm -hmm. La manera informal. Okay. Okay. I'm going to share with you another video in which you are going to see a person asking for direction in the United States. I'm going to share that video and you are going to hear, right? A real conversation. Les voy a compartir un video para que vean conversaciones reales de una persona pidiendo direcciones en las calles de los Estados Unidos. I'm going to share the link on the WhatsApp group, okay? For you to practice. And let's go with this. How to answer this question? I have here the question now, how to answer. I can use this expression to answer. Uh, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left, go straight on, go along, walk along, on the right, on the left. Yeah, I have the twice this, go straight, the work alone. So I don't know. I have to do this. Uh, let's see. Walk up. Es como suba, verdad? Suba. Go up. The same. Go down. Camine hacia abajo. No. Go down. Or go down. Vaya hacia abajo en esa calle. Turn left. What is it? What is left? Izquierda o derecha? Izquierdo. Okay, izquierda. Izquierda. And right is the control. Right, derecha. 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 Go straight on. Recto. Okay, siga recto. ¿verdad? Siga recto. Go alone. In, or walk alone. Es al lejos. Es como sí. camine sí. por. Camine por. Uh -huh. Váyase por aquí. That is walk alone. Camine por acá. That is the meaning of that. So let's let's say a look of this expression in the following conversation. So take a look of this conversation. Can you identify some of this expression? En la conversación, ¿pueden identificar algunas de las expresiones anteriores? Yes, teacher. Ok, how? Walk up. Walk up. Across from. Right across from. It's on the right. It's on the right. Yes. It's right across Turn from. Teacher, podría poner la, la lámina anterior. Quiero tomar la captura para tener. Ok. Yes, you can find the presentation on the WhatsApp group. Okay, can I go to the next? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, we can find it. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Okay, esta sería como la introducción de esa persona, llamar la atención de esa persona. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Disculpe, señora, ¿puede ayudarme? How do I get to San Patrick Cathedral? He is looking for this place, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Okay, la mujer just walk out Fifth Avenue to 15th Street. 50th Street, St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State? What is the Empire State building? Is it far from here? Is it it's right behind you? Just turn around and look up. 
So what is this conversation about? ¿Qué lugares está buscando esta persona? San Patrick Cathedral. La Catedral de San Patricio. And Rockefeller Center. In the Empire State. Center. And, And Empire also State. the Empire State Building. Empire State. Blue oh. Deal. <clears throat> okay. Very good. So let's listen this conversation. Can... Excuse me. Can you listen? Yes. Can you listen? Yes, yes. okay. Yes. yes, I Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Any new work? Any new uh, word? Teacher, yes. I just want to know how La ST de how do you get to ese, ST, Patrick's Cathedral? Saint, Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Saint, como santo, algo así. Yes. Saint. Ok, gracias. Thank you for your question. Any other question in this part? No question? Ok, let's practice. Let's listen a couple of you, guys. Who wants to try? Who wants to try in this conversation? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Hugo. So, Francisco, you are going to be the tourist. And um, Hugo, you are going to read the part of the woman. Can you please start? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, Hugo. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk uh, First Avenue to Fifty Strings. It's a uh, party is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right for uh, Oscar from from <clears throat> from uh, Friend, uh, Center. Thank you, and. Where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind, uh, behind you, down store, uh, arms and, and look, look. Look up. Look up, okay. Okay, excellent, thank you so much. ¿Y dónde está el edificio del Empire State? Is it far from here? ¿Está lejos de aquí? Está justo atrás de usted. Solo irte y lo verás. Vuelta. Irte hacia arriba. Y lo verás. Excellent. So let's listen Julio and Jonathan in this conversation. Julio, you are Who the stories. All right. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get to a state? Patricia Cathedral. You use welcome Avenue to Fixing Street, St. Patrick in on the right. Is near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? Is it far, it's from? far for, from here? It's right by venue to tour around and look. Ah, 
Look up. Look up. Thank Look you so much. Up. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help in this. Thank you for your participation. You did a great job. Thank you. Let's go with the next team. After this conversation, take a look at this map again. And we are going to choose the right place. But now we're going to read this expression. Let's see, walk along Oxford Street is next to the jewelry across from the train station. What is the place? So you are here in this point, in this red point. So walk along Oxford Street is next to the jewelry across from the train station. The park. 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 The park. Yes. Yes, you are right. The park is the right answer. So it said what along Oxford Street. Then it's next to the jewelry. Ya vi la joyería. Then it says it's next to. Okay, a la par de. Across from the train station. Acá está la estación de tren. And here is the park. Across from. Excellent. Let's see the second one. You are in the same point. It says, turn right, turn right. Then take the first strip on the left. It's on your right next to the hospital. Supermarket. The supermarket. Let's see, it says, turn right. Giramos a la derecha and then take the first strip. Veamos la primera calle que encontramos is Queen Street. Then on the left, a la izquierda. It's on your right. Oh, sorry. It says on the left. So on the left. It's on your right. Está a su derecha. Acá. Next to the hospital. Muy bien. The supermarket. Let's see if it's the place. Yes. It's the supermarket. Let's see this. Go along this strip. Estamos en el mismo punto. It says go along this strip. Walk past the train station. It's on your left across from the car park. What is the place? Airport park or bakery? Airport. 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 Let's see if you're right. Yes, you are right. It's the airport. It says go along this strip. Vaya por esta calle. And here we go. They say, walk past the train station. Camina hasta pasar la estación de tren. Now I am on Curtis Road. It's on your left across from the car park. Está a la izquierda. Across from the parking lot. Okay. Excellent. And let's do the next. Take the first turning on the right. It's on your right between the tourist office and the bank. What is the place? You are here in this point. Then the person said to you, take the first turning on the right. Restaurant. restaurant. Is it the restaurant? Let's see. Yes, restaurant. Take the first strip and turn on the right. It's on your right. Está a la derecha. Here is the tourist info office, tourist information office. Then it says between the tourist and the bank. Okay, the restaurant, excellent. Let's see the next. Go straight on and take the second. Turn on the right, it's on the left, across from the hospital. What is the place? Gas station. The station. gas station? Okay, let's see. go straight, vaya recto, on, and take the second. This is the first one, it's a no. Let's go with the second. Oh, this is the second. It's on the left, está a la izquierda, across no, from the host. Turn on the right. Oh, okay, acá, turn on the right, acá giramos yes. en la derecha. Luego sobre esa calle a la izquierda. 
Ok, it's on the left, está a la izquierda. Enfrente hospital. del hospital. Ah, ok, across from the hospital. Then is the gas station. Excellent. Let's see the next. It says, take the first strip on your right. Take the next strip on the left. It's on the right next to the supermarket. What is the place? It's a hospital. Stay. Okay, take the first strip on your right. Take the next strip on the left. La siguiente calle a la izquierda. Then it says next to the supermarket. Oh, here is the supermarket then. Next to the hospital. supermarket. Hospital. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Okay, now let's practice this conversation. It says, good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Walk on First Avenue, turn right on Century Street, walk on one block. The post office is in the corner of Century Street and Second Avenue next to the hospital. ¿Dónde está esta persona? ¿En cuál punto? ¿In the red or in the blue? What is it? Blue. The blue one? Is it the no. blue one? The red one. The red one? Sí. Okay, let's, let's read again. Walk on First Avenue. Camina sobre la primera avenida. Okay. Yeah. Turn yeah. right on Center Street. This is Main Street. Blue. Esta no. Uh -huh. um, okay, now I on Center Street. Work on one block. Okay, block is una cuadra. One block. Acá. Ya camino una cuadra, one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street. And Second Avenue. Here is the Second Avenue. This is the Center Street. Next to the hospital. Is it? Next to the hospital? Yes, it is. The post office? The post office. So it's the blue point. Esta persona estaba acá. Let's see the next one. This person is here in the red point. So I can find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? ¿Qué lugar está buscando? The coffee shop. The coffee shop. Oh, look. Yeah, look. The coffee shop is here. So, is it near here? ¿Está cerca de aquí? No, it isn't. No, está lejos. You are far of that place. Estás lejos de ese lugar. How can I get there? How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street. Turn right at Second Avenue. Go on until you reach Main Street. You will see favorite shoes. Shop Al's Coffee. Shop is next to favorite shoes shop. Thank you. So let's see. We are here. It says go try on Center Street. Center Street. We are here. Then it says turn right at Second Avenue. Oh, here is the Second Avenue. So it says turn right. And then it says, go until you reach Main Street. Okay. Hasta que llegue a Main Street. Ya estoy en Main Street. Now let's see. You will see favorite shoes. Okay. I can see favorite shoes here. Al's Coffee Shop is next to favorite shoes. Shoes Shop. So it's here. This is the place. It says, thank you. Do you have any question about this topic? No? Is it easy or difficult? What do you think? O sea, lo vimos, vimos varias palabras como la de go, go strain o la de walk on. Siento que hay que aprendérselos más y manejarlos más, pero, pero sí no está tan difícil que se diga. Ok, excelente. Thank you for your comment. 
Thank you so much. I have a question. Por ejemplo, en este de I cannot find, donde le está diciendo que, que se tiene que ir al, uh, ahí al coffee shop, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo mm -hmm. es que puedo utilizar el I cannot? Esta es no solamente para... ¿Qué le está diciendo ahí? En esta no parte. No necesita ir al final. Ajá. I can find al coffee shop. En este no caso, encontrar. yo no puedo, yo no puedo encontrar al coffee shop. Ok. En la app de abajo, la tercera, la tercera que sea, how can I get there? Eh, traducido en español que dice, eh, puedo... Oh. Uh, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo, puedo puedo, ¿Cómo puedo llegar ahí? Uh, okay. How Thank can you. I get there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar ahí? Ok, thank you. Any other question? No question? Ok, I need to volunteer to practice in the conversation number one. Who wants to try? Conversation one. In this one. Two volunteers. Thank you, Jose Alberto. And thank you, Francisco. So, Jose, can you please start? Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Cool. You tell me how how to get to post office? The post office. Walk on First Avenue. Turn right on Center Street. Walk on a block. One block. The post office in the is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue, next to the hospital. Excellent, thank okay, you. Thank you. In the second conversation, Hugo, Giovanni, and Maria Dolores, please. Okay. I can find a coffee shop. Is the is it near here? No, oh, it is it is not you are for a uh, of the place. How can I can there? Going straight on Center Street to right at Second Avenue. Go going into the you right main street. You will see favorite shoes, shop has coffee shop. Shop is next to Fibery Shop. Choose. Shop. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. How do you pronounce this word or this phrase? Go straight. Go straight. Thank you. How do you pronounce right. this? Uh, here. Here. Is it near here? Is it near here? Okay, excellent. Is it near here? How do you pronounce these? Let's see which one. Oh, this one. To reach Main Street. Okay, thank you. You reach, 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 reach. Main Street. Thank you. And what about this one? Favorite. Favorite shoes shop. Okay, favorite shoe shop. Shoes shop. Any question? No question. No, no question. Okay, don't forget that this week you have to complete the midterm exam. Okay. So, durante esta semana tenemos que completar este examen, el examen de medio curso. So, let's take a look at this exam. Okay. Let's go to this. We're going to go to the platform. Thank you. This is the end of the presentation. And of the topic of this night, let's go to the platform. Let me see. It's, it's in this part. Okay, this is the midterm. This is the midterm exam. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five exercises. It has five exercises. And the first one, 
you are going to find a listening part. So you have to listen the conversation and check the correct answer here. Okay, so you play the listening and then you check the right answer. This is the first part. Now the second part, match the question with the answers. And you have to match these answers. Here is the question, are we going to work this weekend? Then you have to find the answer here and complete the question and the answer. You have to match them in this exercise. In the third one, you are going to select the W question to complete the conversation. So what is uh, what is the right WH word question in this? Okay. In the next part, in the next part, you are going to complete the conversation. Select the correct word. So you click here and you are going to find these three options, fill, get, or have. Let's solve the first one. What do you think is the right in the first one? Oh, I, uh, I have. I have. I have a headache. Okay. Feel getting have you say have. I have a headache. Let's see. Oh, yes, you are right. Okay. Van a sacar diez a la primera. I am pretty sure of that. Estoy seguro que sacan diez a la primera en este. Excellent. Ya les di copia de una. Let's go with the last part of this. The last question. Uh, read the article. So read the article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition. Home remedies. You are going to read this. And after that, you are going to answer this. For a cold, what is good for a cold? What is a good remedy for a cold? So according to the reading part, you are going to choose the answer here. Okay. And that is the midterm. Ese es el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Any question about this? No question, teacher. No question. No question. Okay. Remember that you have to take this exam uh, during this week. Okay. En esta semana, you have to take it. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's go to the exercise to the section number three. Veamos los ejercicios de la sección número tres. Ya están completando esta sección, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok, ya terminó. Yes, teacher. ¿Ya terminaron? Yes. 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 You have already finished. That's great. So let's see this exercise. It's a listening to. So listen to the Anderson family's conversation to answer the questions. Let's listen. Let's see. It isn't working now. This section has a lot of uh, listening. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Okay, let's see. What's happening here? It isn't working now. What happened? Oh, see, there's a problem with the, of this audio. Bueno, parece que no quiere que lo, lo escuchemos. Okay, but in this exercise, you have to listen to this and you have to check it. Do you remember the answers? Do you remember some answer in this part? Let's try again. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. 
Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Okay, and the first one. Where is Jane the department going to store. the store that she needs? At the department store, okay. Where yes. are they going to go? Where are they going to go? At the beach. Okay, to the beach. Uh, let's listen to the second one. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okay. What does mom for need dessert. from the supermarket? Cookies for dessert. Cookies for dessert. Cookies for dessert. Okay. What kind of cookies? Which flavor? Chocolate. Okay. Chocolate cookies. Let's see the next. It says, what does that mean from the drugstore? Let's listen. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Okay. What's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? Aspirin. Um, he has, he has, a, he has headache. a headache. Okay, he has a headache. So he needs has, a, has, aspirin. aspirin. Okay, excellent. He needs uh, aspirin. Who is going to go to the drugstore? The woman or the man? Well. Who's going to go to the drugstore? Man. The man. Okay. The man. Let's go with number four. I guess this is the last one. Where is my going to go with his dad? To the movies, to the drugstore, to get a newspaper, or to the park? Let's listen to the last conversation. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the newspaper. newspaper. Okay. Why does he need a newspaper? For going to the movies. Okay, he needs oh. to read, right? Which are the movies on the movie theater? Thank you. Let's see. Si me saco siete, es su culpa. Let's see. Nana, that's not true. Okay, excellent. Very good. 33 point of 33 point. Excellent. Then we have this other exercise here in this part. This is kind of easy. So look at the map and listen to the audio program to answer the question. Did you complete this exercise? Yes. Completaron este ejercicio? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. that's great. Any question in this exercise? No. No question. And no then we question. have no the last question. one. This is the last exercise on the section number three. Where can the woman get the stamps? Did you complete this exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. So you don't have any problem with this exercise? No, sir. Okay. That's great. Then don't forget, please, take the meter exam. If you can do it, um, let's see. You have to do it before Friday. Tienen que hacerlo antes del viernes, el meter. Okay, so good look. Get a 10. Buena suerte que saquen 10 en este midterm. Ok. Ay, ay. ¿Cuándo vamos a comenzar el, el 4? The section number 4 on Monday. Well, it depends. Right? Va a depender si todavía no estamos seguros si vamos a descansar o no el viernes. ¿verdad? 
Pero sería el día lunes, on Monday. On Monday, we're going to start the section number four. Because the next class is a review. It's a review of the three first sections. Es un repaso de las primeras tres secciones, the next class. So don't miss it. No se la pierdan. Okay? So okay. if you don't have any questions, so enjoy the Independence Day uh, break tomorrow, right? Eh, ¿Quién se va a ir a trabajar? Nobody. Nobody. Yo salgo, salgo el, el 15 de trabajar. Ah, ok. Then, bueno, hoy sí van a ver desfiles, ¿verdad? Pueden ir a divertirse un rato. Y yes, be careful. Right? Don't forget your face mask there. And enjoy. Enjoy with your family. Rest a lot. Eh, watch a movie. Listen to music. I don't know what you are going to do, but enjoy your day. Disfruten su día mañana. Eh, estén pendientes del grupo por eh, el anuncio oficial, ¿verdad? Si hay clases o no el viernes, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Good night. See you the next class. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next week. Good evening. Good night. Solo una pregunta con respecto a si vamos a tener o no el viernes, usted nos va a, a decir en el grupo, por lo yes. que ha puesto el presidente. Así es, vamos a, a ver qué nos dice, ¿verdad? La gerencia y les vamos a notificar por medio del grupo de WhatsApp. Estén pendientes, please. Gracias. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Candida Maria Julio, do you have a question? Maria Elizabeth, Candida, do you have a question? Can I help you with something? Do you need help? Okay, Maria and Candida, have a good night. See you next class. Bye bye.